Imagine walking deep in a jungle, the air thick and warm, strange birds calling above. You hear a river nearby, everything feels peaceful until you sense eyes watching you. The feeling grows stronger with every step. Suddenly the jungle feels less like paradise and more like a trap. What if the watcher isn't a jaguar or monkey, but something much bigger, something long, powerful and perfectly hidden among the roots and vines? It waits in silence, its dark eyes following your every move. This is the world of Titanoboa, a place where shadows move and the ground itself might be alive. Titanoboa was not a myth. It was a real giant that once ruled ancient rainforests. Imagine if it never left. What if, in the deepest jungles, this colossal snake still slides through the undergrowth? The thought is both terrifying and fascinating. Let's journey back in time to a world where humanity shares its home with the largest snake that ever lived. We'll explore the life of this incredible beast and imagine if it still existed. Would you survive in Titanoboa's world? To answer that, you must first understand the sheer scale of this magnificent serpent. The silence of the jungle is not empty. It's filled with the patient presence of a predator. Welcome to Titanoboa's kingdom. Sha Titanoboa, its name means Titanic Boa, was the biggest snake ever discovered. It lived about 60 million years ago, after the dinosaurs vanished. The world was hotter, wetter, and covered in vast rainforests, perfect for a giant reptile. Titanoboa could grow up to 13 meters or 42 feet longer than a school bus. It weighed over a ton thicker than your waist, pure muscle built for crushing prey. The largest living snake today, the green anaconda, would look small beside it. We know about Titanoboa from fossils found in a Colombian coal mine, once a swampy jungle. Scientists studied its massive vertebrae to estimate its size and learn about its world. A snake this big needed a hot climate around 90 degrees Fahrenheit to survive. Titanoboa was a constrictor, not venomous, its strength was in its size. It ambushed prey from the water, likely eating giant crocodiles and huge fish. With powerful jaws and a crushing grip, it could stop a heart and break bones. This was the apex predator of its time, a silent hunter in a lost world. Its existence tells us about a wilder, more dangerous Earth. Titanoboa's story is written in stone, but its legend lives on. Imagine facing a snake that could swallow a crocodile whole. Its power was unmatched, its presence undeniable. Titanoboa was the king of the Paleocene jungle. Its fossils are a window into a forgotten era. The world it ruled was unlike anything we know today. Titanoboa's reign was absolute, but what if it never ended? What if Titanoboa still lived today? The Amazon would be a place of awe and fear. Stories of the giant serpent would be real warnings, not myths. Titanoboa would be the ultimate apex predator, hunting jaguars, caimans, even cattle. Animals would change their behavior, always wary near rivers and swamps. Its presence would reshape entire ecosystems, keeping other large animals in check. Scientists would race to study this living fossil, unlocking secrets of the ancient world. Titanoboa would be a living symbol of climate change, its survival tied to a warming planet. But its existence would raise tough questions. How would humans coexist with such a threat? Conservationists would fight to protect it, while others might see it as a danger. The discovery would force us to rethink our place in nature. Could we truly share our world with a monster from the past? If Titanoboa still roamed the Amazon, it would be the undisputed king. Jaguars would become prey, and the food chain would be rewritten. Titanoboa would hunt in rivers, feasting on capybaras, caimans, even river dolphins. Its massive body would carve new paths through the jungle, flattening vegetation and reshaping the land. The snake would be an ecosystem engineer, creating habitats for other creatures. Animals would live in constant alert, evolving to survive in the shadow of the great snake. The jungle would hold its breath when Titanoboa moved. Its presence would drive evolutionary change, rewriting the story of life in the Amazon. The ancient king would rule not just with power, but by shaping the world around it. Life in the rainforest would never be the same. For people near the Amazon, life would change forever. The river would be a source of danger as much as life. Children would be taught to avoid the water. Fishermen would always be on guard. 
Villages would move to higher ground, and daily routines would revolve around avoiding Titanoboa. The snake would become central to local culture. Stories, songs and warnings passed down through generations. Scientists and tourists would flock to see it, bringing both opportunity and disruption. Some would find work as guides, others would resent the intrusion. The region would become a global hotspot, forever changed by the presence of the giant snake. Could a person be eaten? Yes, but Titanoboa would likely prefer larger prey. Still, the threat would always linger, a reminder that humans are not always at the top of the food chain. Titanoboa's existence would spark conflict, hunt it or protect it. Some would hunt out of fear or for glory. Others would seek profit from its skin. Protecting it would require vast reserves and international cooperation. Patrolling such a huge area would be nearly impossible. Scientists would argue Titanoboa is priceless, a living window into prehistory. They'd use technology to study, not harm, the snake. The debate would test our values. Fear and greed versus curiosity and wonder. The fate of Titanoboa would reflect our relationship with nature. Could we coexist with a true monster? Its survival would be a test of our humanity. Back in the jungle, you now know what might be watching from the shadows. Titanoboa is not just a snake, it's a relic of immense power. Could you survive in its world? It would take knowledge, respect and humility. You'd need to learn the jungle's ways, avoid the river and heed the warnings of nature. Survival isn't about strength. You can't fight Titanoboa and win. It's about being smart, knowing your place in the food chain. Your best tools, your brain and your respect for the wild. Some places aren't meant to be controlled, they demand respect. So listen to the jungle, feel the ancient presence. A world with Titanoboa would be more dangerous but also more wondrous. Our planet still holds secrets and we are just one part of its story. Now ask yourself, would you have what it takes to survive?